I think the unique personality of Titanfall's single-player campaign comes from its uh, sheer variety. We have an experience that I don't feel like I get anywhere else right now. You can get different Titan loadouts and experience the different flavors of Titans from the multiplayer in the single player. Big set piece moments. We have like epic combat spaces, but then we also have low key moments where you're just progressing through the environment and exploring. You're using your pilot mobility. We've actually brought puzzle mechanics into the fray. Some of them are light puzzles that actually require you to stop and think about the environment and look around. We've got encounters with really strong enemy characters. They're like boss battles. And these bosses all have some very eclectic, interesting personalities. Woo! Now we're talking! <laughs> the first step in the process for Titanfall 2 that I really remember was the action block phase. Each week, the entire design team would go off and they would have an opportunity to be creative independently. It freed up the team to just concentrate on what were the basic building blocks of single player gameplay. The ideas would get pulled together into a place where they could start to form the nexus for a level. One of the action blocks that made it into the game was the experiment where we worked with cranes, these wall running panels that were suspended from cables and you could move them into position and use those to make your way through the level. The great thing about single player and Titanfall 2 is that it's not just defined by one thing. What does it mean to focus on a Titan fighting another Titan? What does it mean to be a pilot that's being helped by his Titan? And what makes the focus on the bonds so important to single player is it really reinforces that there are two units at work here. They have to work together. Because we want to build a relationship between you and BT, we often do things where we split you guys up. You get out of BT, you look at the environment, the objective might be that way, but then you'll see something that looks interesting over there. You can go over there and try it out and see what you can find. But then there's this added layer of you're stronger together. Trust me. In this game, it's not just corridors, it's wide opportunities that embrace our motion model instead of trying to cage the bird. We're gonna be able to put something out there and have people get an experience that's uniquely Titanfall. Campaigns and single player and shooters, they can be more. They can be more varied and more adventure like. the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier. The pilot is the true dominant force. Fast and agile. Graceful, yet devastating. Perceptive. Resourceful. And relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Sheer walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. Experienced in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. But what truly separates the pilot from all the grunts and machines of the battlefield is the bond between a pilot and a titan. Titan, a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force or an equal. The frontier has been the only home I've ever known. For years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, and killing us off if we try to resist. 
Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, we have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. Now, I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor. BT-7274. Your data recorder says your original pilot was killed in action. Correct. My original pilot was KIA. I am now linked to Rifleman Jack Cooper. Who authorized this? We had no other options. What are your protocols? Protocol 1. Link to pilot. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Protocol 3. BT! Protect the pilot. 